Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the National Credit Union Foundation's 15th Annual Herb Wegner Memorial Awards Dinner. Our final award tonight is for lifetime achievement. It carries with it special recognition of a career and a life dedicated to credit unions and their members. It's awarded to a person who has led the fight for credit unions both inside and outside of the movement. And I think you'll be very pleased with this year's selection for the Herb Wagner Lifetime Achievement Award. Please watch. Edward Feline, Roy Bergengren, Dora Maxwell, Louise Herring, these are the names we traditionally think of when we hear the phrase credit union pioneer. But pioneers aren't found only in our history books. Some walk among us today. One such pioneer is Ed Callahan. His actions and ideas, his vision, and his extraordinary leadership are largely responsible for the credit union movement's strength and success as we know it today. A man like few others, Ed Callahan has served as a tireless warrior on behalf of the cooperative credit union movement. Flanked by supporters and critics alike, as with any great leader, he has led a dauntless ongoing crusade on all fronts, saving credit unions from extinction, nurturing and expanding the concept of credit union membership and furthering technological innovations for credit unions as well as cooperative entities. Born into a family of modest means in Youngstown, Ohio, the cooperative ideal has long been reflected throughout Ed's personal life and career. Earning a full scholarship to Marquette University in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, he graduated with a bachelor's degree in mathematics and a master's degree in educational administration. For the next 25 years, he pursued a career in education, first as a teacher and coach, and then five years as the superintendent of Catholic schools in Rockford, Illinois. In 1975, Ed embarked on a career of public service, first as the Illinois Deputy Secretary of State, and then spending four years as the director of the Illinois Department of Financial Institutions. In 1981, President Ronald Reagan appointed Ed as chairman of the National Credit Union Administration, a dire period in the credit union movement's history. When Ed took office, 82% of the nation's credit unions were tied to sagging, occupationally-based industries such as steel, lumber, and heavy equipment, resulting in credit union liquidations at a high water mark of 251. And to top it off, the national share insurance fund's equity was a sparse 0.26% of insured shares at the close of 1982. Studies mandated by Congress raised the prospect of a loss of independence for the fund. In response, credit unions and the NCUA went into action. Under Chairman Callahan's leadership and vision, the NCUA reinterpreted the Federal Credit Union Act to permit a single credit union to serve multiple groups, provided each had its own common bond. To save the National Share Insurance Fund, Chairman Callahan and the NCUA worked with the credit union community to create a novel approach in which credit unions capitalize their own fund by depositing and maintaining 1% of their insured shares. The results, monumental to say the least. In fiscal 1983 alone, some 7,000 groups requested service and affiliated with nearby credit unions. By June of 1996, some 157,000 groups and over 10 million members were being served by 3,600 federal credit unions. Today, more than 328,000 SEGs are being served by credit unions in the United States. And the National Share Insurance Fund idea worked so well that Congress later drew on the same concept for the capitalization of the FDIC fund. 
Following his tenure with the NCUA, Ed Callahan brought his innovation and leadership to a new level, the local level. When he took over the helm at Patelco Credit Union, the credit union's primary telephone company membership was reeling from the deregulatory breakup of 1984. Under Callahan's guidance, Patelco structured a myriad of unique programs that helped affected members get back on their feet. Today, Patelco serves employees from over 1,500 mid- and small-sized businesses, employees of neighborhood businesses that would otherwise be locked out of the credit union community because of their employment status. While the core foundation of Patelco's membership underwent change, the infrastructure shifted as well, growing from eight freestanding branch offices to a group of over 125 service sites that include branch offices, mini branches, and credit union service centers. In the late 1980s, the telephone company relocated some of its employees to an emerging suburban neighborhood, resulting in a need for another credit union office. To serve those members, Callahan came up with yet another monumental solution, opening a shared office with another credit union that was already established in the neighborhood. This idea of sharing facilities was initially regarded with great skepticism by Callahan's peers. As more and more credit unions recognized the potential from working cooperatively on operations, Callahan and other California credit union CEOs formed the Credit Union Service Centers. These were satellite offices located in prime traffic areas where members of all participating credit unions could transact business in a single location. Ed Callahan has devoted countless hours working with other credit union CEOs, various state legislatures, and in the halls of Congress, personally overseeing efforts to defend and preserve credit unions from the banking industry's many-pronged campaigns of litigation and intimidation. In California, his fight was focused on a tax parity bill, AB 1413, which was passed and put into effect in 1999. His fight for support of the credit union membership access bill, HR 1151, is also well documented. When the issue of credit union membership came before the United States Supreme Court, Ed Callahan, was only one of a few credit union CEOs brave enough to put his name on a friend of the court brief. Although not widely heralded, Callahan and the rest of Patelco's staff are active in all cooperative industry circles. In 1993, Callahan instituted an Adopt a Credit Union program to small credit unions that serve low-income people in disadvantaged areas. And to top it off, Patelco, is also known to offer lending support to credit unions that serve disadvantaged groups. Leadership, vision, innovation, these are but a few of the qualities that describe a pioneer. But it's one's actions, one's legacy, that ultimately defines a pioneer. Ed Callahan's actions and the legacy he has left for millions of Americans places him in our history books, along with the names of Edward Feline, Roy Bergengren, Dora Maxwell, Louise Herring, and many others. Ed Callahan will be remembered as one who made monumental differences in the cooperative credit union movement. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pride and sincere appreciation that the National Credit Union Foundation honors Ed Callahan as this year's recipient of the Herb Wegner Memorial Award for Lifetime Achievement. <laughs>